Hey everyone, it's John from Wine Adventure Journal and welcome to our 10th Wine Wednesday of Christmas. We're a little delayed in posting this video due to uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, but we think you'll enjoy this week's recommendation. This week, we're going to demonstrate the High Coop. Uh, you can see that there. Uh, Waiter's Corkscrew. It's a premium corkscrew at a reasonable price. Makes a great stocking stuffer or gift. It has good heft for a waiter's corkscrew. Uh, it's standard design, but it has a couple features that uh, make it stand out, and I'm going to demonstrate those to you. Uh, like most waiter's corkscrews, comes with a blade foil cutter. And what really makes it unique is the way that it does the double hinge. You always want a double hinge uh, for opening especially older bottles of wine, uh, because the purpose uh, or the, the correct way to pull a cork is to pull it as straight as you can up, especially those older uh, corks that might be a little dry and subject to uh, bending and maybe cracking. And the last thing you want when you're pulling out your cork is for any of the bits of the cork to fall into the wine and contaminate it. So I'm going to demonstrate how we can do, do that by using this uh, simple waiter's corkscrew with the double hinge. I'm pulling off the uh, foil uh, from this bottle of wine. We don't, uh, we don't really need to do that. Uh, we can skip it. So I've, I've just pulled that off. Now I'm going to insert the worm in the, uh, in the cork. We'll get it uh, down to the correct depth. And this is a 2012 uh, Vino Godfather uh, Prohibition Red. It comes from uh, the Sassoon Valley area in Northern California, uh, Solano County. And for those of you not familiar, uh, Solano County, the Fairfield area, is the first town to the east of the city of Napa. It's the neighbor to the east. And uh, they grow a lot of good wine there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do now, we've seeded the cork. We're going to actually, what makes this uh, more effective is a spring-loaded engagement. You can see the spring-loaded uh, part right after the first uh, hinge. It pushes that lip down over. We just hold it tight and we start to pull up. Now, once we've pulled up about as far as that first engagement is going to take us, we go ahead and rock the corkscrew. We engage with the second with the second part right here. And then we go ahead and we continue our pull. Now as we're continuing our pull, that cork is continuing to come straight out. And voila, a nicely aged cork, straight out. And uh, no bits have fallen into our wine. And that's why a double hinged uh, corkscrew is advantageous and why I like this one especially because of the way that you can just it's a, uh, engage with a push against the spring. So that is our uh, demonstration for the week. Hope you'll visit WineAdventureJournal.com to see all of the, our so far 10 Wine Wednesday of Christmas gifts. You'll also see a number of other gifts that we're uh, putting on as specials for the Christmas season. Hope uh, you don't fall behind on your uh, Christmas shopping. Go ahead and get started now. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, go ahead and hit like if you want to subscribe to this channel. Uh, we'll be uh, posting two more videos for all of the uh, 12 Wine Wednesdays of Christmas. Great Christmas giving ideas for the holiday season. And uh, we hope that you will try out this corkscrew. But I, again, I do recommend it. It's uh, a great corkscrew for a great price. And I look forward to seeing you next week on the 11th Wine Wednesday of Christmas. Cheers.